Luster, welcome home. Let me get this straight. You're telling me you're gonna give first name Pen, last name God, three lusters, three pens of performed by sorcerers, three duelist alliances to get them, three Ariadne, and you're gonna give me solemn judgments? And you, you're you're gonna you're gonna and you're gonna give me a guard dragon combo that's legal? This is an eight negate Draco Pal deck profile. And you know what? If you haven't already, go check out the most broken combo tutorial I have of this list so if you're ready for the video hit the subscribe button let's go straight into the video you guys seen the draco power combo it's amazing it like we're talking about a in 2019 draco palace is 100 viable and you can't screw with it because it's gonna put out 15 negates on your ass now let's go straight into deck profile if you haven't seen it already check out in the description below i'm gonna post the combo tutorial which i've made and honestly it's amazing it's absolutely it's beautiful it's beautiful let's get straight into it triple luster konami thank you my dog thank you triple judgment thank you you finally play ariane now if you open like there's just here's an idea behind the deck okay listen listen closely listen closely listen very closely my friends okay uh, you want as many cards as possible to be able to pop as many cards that plus as possible. Does that make sense? So, with that being said, you have Triple Luster, Triple Duelist Alliance, Triple Sky Iris, one Terraforming. That is 10 cards that pop something on the field before your pen summon. And Triple Sorcerer, so that's 13. You have 13 cards, 10 of them before your pen summon, that pop, pop something. Now, how many cards in the deck that... Plus, after you pop, Triple Hamster is a one card electro after you pop something, whether it be a Sky Iris, Luster, whatever it may be. Hamster, not so much with Luster, but still. Uh, Chronograph as well, one card electro after. Aerion, now you get Solemn Judgment and then Solemn Strike. And then uh, Wild Hope is also one card electro because if you Luster Wild Hope, you get Wild Hope and a Curtain Razor back. And then you go Curtain Razor, normal wa the Wild Hope you got back from Luster, and one card electro, just like that. It, the synergy is amazing, especially with Sky Iris. Odd Eyes, Jackal Pal 2019, who would have thought? Sorcerer, my, my, I love you. I love you. I miss on you $100. I would buy you again without, a, without even blinking. Triple Sorcerer, broken. You got two targets. One Minotaurus, one Dissolver. Both of which, which are also Odd Eyes, so they don't even conflict with the Sky Iris. You will never run out of, uh, of targets. If you were to hard draw one of these, it's fine. Because you only need to resolve Sorcerer for one, and none of them brick because you go Sayusha at the end and Dissolver is how you go Vortex on top uh, at the end. So because Agar Pain summons out Ignister to really utilize Ignister like crazy with the Guard Dragons, you don't want to miss out on the Vortex which Dissolver gets you for free, which Sorcerer gets you every turn through your alliances or Electrum setting. It's amazing. Check out the comment tutorial if you haven't already. Triple Rescue Hamster, one card Electrum, I'm down. And also you add back everything. So a lot of times when you run out of Ariadne, you just get it back. Or you get back lusters, it's beautiful. Triple Chronograph, Triple Ariadne, I love you. Triple Wild Hope, Triple Curtain Racer. Any deck that pops cards or Metal Foes or Lusters or Skyers need to play Wild Hope and Hamsters and Ariadnes. I don't care, it's amazing. One Persona Dragon, I'm down for one card negates, which you get with Sky Iris, but a lot of times you just get low scales. A lot of the deck has high scales, uh, so you prefer having a low scale searchable with Sky Iris, but you can also get a, a sorry, low scale, but you also search a high scale with Sky Iris if you want. And a lot of times, if you don't have access to Dissolver by Sorcerer, uh, you can Sky Iris it and summon it with Sayusha, or just put it in your scale and still summon it, no problem. Uh, one Disturdo, because it's a free negate, why not? Triple Duelist Alliance, Triple Sky Iris, one Terraforming, Triple Into the Void, there's four draw cards in this deck with an Upstart Goblin. You want to see your Lusters, your Sorks, your Ariannes, you want to see them. When you see Ariane and any pop card, it's like auto-win going first. And going second, look at the side deck. I told you guys in past videos, this is the best side deck in the game, I will not change it. You draw any of them and you just auto-win. So, and hey, if you draw your judgments, who cares, okay? They're so damn good. They're so damn, especially going first. Now, going second, you side out three, three Ariadne and your triple judgment and your strike for all these auto-win cards. They're just auto-win. I don't know how to explain it any better than that. They're auto-win versus any matchup in the game. So going second is totally fine with this deck. And going second, in fact, it's amazing because you just put in these auto-wins and you just auto-win, you destroy your opponent. 
Uh, you don't need to play more targets for perform uh, uh, sorcerer because you don't want to brick. Bricking is in mind. Uh, you're playing counter traps, so you might brick. But going first, they don't brick. They're, you have a judgment set. You're you're good. <laughs> like you typically, you're gonna do the whole guard dragon combo plus judgment. And if you haven't seen already how I spam Ignis like three times on the turn, check out the combo tutorial. Okay, it'll show in depth how to do it. Uh, the deck's amazing. The deck's absolutely remarkable, honestly. Uh, side deck. This is the same side deck I use for a lot of de a pendulum decks because it's just the best side deck. Triple Sphere, Triple Super Poly, Triple Denko, Double Split Cancer, Double Reboot. Six of these for Thunder and Pendulum destroys them. Auto win. Triple Super Poly, Triple Denko for uh, Salamangri. Auto win. Triple Denko, Double Spell Cancer for Sky Striker. Auto win. Uh, these seven for Mystic Mind. Auto win. These three Denko, Double Reboot for Trap Dash without Mystic Mind. Auto win. And these are the best targets. Electron, LP, Pisty. Utilize Pisty to bring up the Ignister after LP brings out a uh, thing to bring out a... Uh, a lot of things, beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. I got bring up Ignister, and uh, Sila and Saryuja, you utilize all this, Saryuja so ends up uh, especially the Dissolver, the Sorcerer, how you get the Vortex as well, and you end up spamming Magister, Paladin, Ignister, and Dynaster, and the Ignister and Dynaster, which you get plus ones of all of them, and Into the Void does not conflict with Mad uh, Dracula Slayer because you use Into the Void first, similar to, to, to the Demise, and then you add the card at the end. And you end up getting hamster to your hand. So it's just the best follow-up, which is also why you got up with hamster as well. Uh, and then yeah, the Ignister and Dinosaur turn into Hope Harbinger, and Hope Harbinger, the end game is simple. Hope Harbinger, Vortex, Judgment, Strike, and Appalooza. Because Harbinger and Appalooza is just auto-win. It's just auto-win. You can never uh, Appalooza is there with three or four. Four, 3200 attack, four monster negates. So it has four monster negates. Harbinger is gonna protect it from you attacking into it. You have a spell negate from Harbinger, Vortex spell trap negate, and then you have a solemn judgment. You have three spell trap negates from Harbinger, Vortex, Judgment, and a strike and Appaloosa. Five plus eight negates. Eight negates most hands. Check out the deck post, uh, the combo tutorial. Sorry if you haven't already, because it shows everything in depth. It shows it all in depth for you guys for the don't know how to do it. And then going second, honestly, one card you use Phoenix and Portal Sword. Because you utilize all these going second anyways. You still guard dragon combo going second. So going second, the way you do it is you use the side deck cards to clear the interruptions as many as you can. And then you use the typical pendulum, electron, bait, hand traps, normal other unicorn phoenix, bait hand traps, etc. Ignis or beta hand trap. And then you guard dragon combo. And you summon Brutal Sword and OTK them into Oblivion. And then when you do as much damage as possible, or you can also go Appaloosa and still use your cards, Ignis your Dynaster, summon a bunch of stuff. It's honestly amazing. I really like this deck and the synergy is amazing. It, it's absolutely broken and it just doesn't break. I really enjoy this deck. I'm telling you guys right now, I 100% see this as a competitive Dracopal deck. And it's not no clickbait, boost, boast, whatever it may be. It's actually amazing. It just doesn't draw bad hands ever. Ever! When I get a bet, I'm going to play this at events, YCS and regionals, and still clap my opponent. It's an amazing deck. It's, it's an amazing deck. It really, really is. Uh, you can't play Desires. I, I tried it. <laughs> Banishing too many judgment and uh, counter traps, your area is useless. And if anything, I made it as consistent as possible. You can play five counter traps because Ariane are just three counter traps. If you hard, if you hard draw Ariane, it's just three. But you can't always hope to hard draw Ariane. I wish that a surgery can come off Ariane, but unfortunately it is not. Uh, typically, the way you're going to get uh, Ariane is by Electrum sending it. So Electrum sending Ariane is still going to result in one or two counter traps. But if you hard draw it, it's going to end up three if you want. But obviously you can't because you play four. So you want to minimize the bricks, so you only play three and one. And as I said, going second is no problem. Because imagine drawing any of these versus the matchups they're good against. It's auto win. And use your brain, guys. Like, uh, draw any of these. You don't need the normal summon. You have so many one-card electrons. It is amazing. You didn't need the electron for your pen summon, and you still win. I love this deck, man. I love this deck. If you're going to make any difference to the deck, it would be to make, like, the Dynasty Ignister Magister combo is so cool because you utilize, uh, even after you, you can pen summon two monsters or three monsters, and you still end up on a board of six monsters at the end because you, you, you get plus ones from Magister, Ignister, and Dynaster. And who doesn't want to play a card that rides Kirin? Sign me up, baby. We're gonna storm Area 51 to free Kieran. Draco Pal is 2019 and still absolutely amazing. If you guys like the video, hit that subscribe button and we're gonna be releasing much more content with Draco Pal in the future and some Draco Pal duels on Rated. And I can't wait, I'm just waiting at the moment. I don't know when I'm posting this video, but uh, I'm playing with Appalooza and it's not legal in TCG. A lot of these decks I'm playing right now are not legal and Rated. So I'm just waiting to play unrated. Otherwise, I'll show you guys local events, but I can't because I'm banned, obviously. 
So the second that these new cards from Rising Rampage are legal, I'm going to showcase just how amazing it is. Again, I don't know when I'm posting this video, but it will, I made it before Rising Rampage is legal. But in the future, expect next week a lot of Jacob Pell duels live. That's the video. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.